All the houses on our street are very ugly. What is maybe a better word we can use for ugly? A 
yucky bright green house um, that makes your eyes hurt and then it's that bright. We live in a humongous, um, disgusting house. There we go. So, now, looking at this, there are still some things that we could work on. Another word that gets used a lot, what about an hour version? What's one word that gets used a lot? Instead. Okay, so 
Um, in, the, in the Mrs. Gibbons, uh, in the house paragraph, we were able to replace um, a lot of things with synonyms. Oops. Okay, so tip number two is specific words are more interesting than general words. Does anyone know what specific means? Specific. Oh.
there's many ways that you can be more specific. Specific words remind readers of things they have seen, smelled, touched, tasted, heard, and felt. So specific words are often more powerful. And one of the cool things about writing is it allows you, as a writer, to get people excited about things that you are excited about. When readers read specific words, they feel that they are in the moment you described. Specific words can transport readers to bright summer days, tropical islands, deep forests, and sad goodbyes. And specific words stir up emotion. Specific words make writing powerful. Verbs can be specific too. So does anyone know what a verb is? A verb is when you make something plural, when you make a word plural. No, no, a verb. Not quite. A verb. So, oh, I don't know. Let's say I have a sentence. Um, I ran over to see my sister. So let me write that out. I ran over to see my sister. Uh, can you spot the verbs in there? Actually, I'll say I ran to see my sister. Where are the verbs? Ready? I ran to see my sister. Ran and sister. Ran. Very good. That's one. And where's the other one?
So the reader is asking, well, did you ride your bike? Did you run? Did you walk? So instead of saying, I went over to Jenny's, say, I ran over to Jenny's. I walked over to Jenny's. I rode my bike over to Jenny's. When we change general verbs to specific words, we give our readers a more clear idea of what is going on. For example, the word went could translate in a drove, rode, cantered, walked, raced, ran, crawled, pranced, lurked, minced, flew, wandered, slithered, stomped, or careened. These words are all verbs, and went could be any of those. So instead of saying went, say one of the things that you suggested. So, let's um, do an activity. Open, do you, have, do you all have pieces of paper with you? Yes. You do? Okay, great. So, um, open your piece of paper, you write a notebook, and write as many specific verbs as possible. Let's see who gets the most. So, for instance, instead of went, you might say prance, or crawl, instead of um, go with, yeah, there are lots of different things that you could say. Um, you could, pretty much any verb that really shows that, uh, sp that specifically what you're doing. So, open your right notebook and write as many specific verbs as possible.
guess who? How many is that? Ourselves a 
about our pet. What kind of pet is it? Is it a guinea pig, a chihuahua, a zebra, a giraffe, um, a tiger? What kind of pet is it? A chihuahua. It's our chihuahua. Okay. Um, so this is a very special chihuahua then. Most chihuahuas are really small, so this is a giant chihuahua. He is so fat that his belly drips down to the ground. So already we've gotten a little more specific. He likes to eat food and he always walks around looking for stuff. How can we make that more specific? Nouns are the people, 
places or things. Very good. So I'm a noun, you're a noun. Um, now, uh, anything else you guys want?
to? I go to the Washington Virtual Academies, or WAVA. It's an online public school, so I'm able to get my lessons online, and that way I'm able to teach you guys um, and, and also do traveling. It's um, flexible. However, it is a lot like your school, but we have teachers, we have homework, we have field trips. Um, yeah, so I go to the Washington Virtual Academies. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed the six traits of good writing for word choice.